Terra Vision. Select the training room to learn how to use the program, or select the site screen icon to enter the program. Welcome to the Big Dig, the site for scientific sleuthing. Watch the background movie to find out about the case. The file tabs, icons, and hotspots will help you with your investigation. Good luck! The face of a cliff sometimes reveals the rocks and the geologic history that make up a region. Erosion is responsible for forming many cliff faces, rivers, streams, glacier ice, wind and ocean waves wear away material to expose great thicknesses of rock. People can also remove material. Rock in the Grand Canyon was exposed as the Colorado River removed rock over millions of years. As you move down the canyon walls, you encounter progressively older geologic rock formations until finally you meet Precambrian rocks. In a sense then, a cliff face exposes time for geologists to study. The river is our primary agent for removing and transporting sediments from the continents to the oceans. The meandering river is common to coastal plains. Generally, as sediments travel downstream, they will become smaller and rounder from the movement of the water. Overall, rocks formed by rivers will show coarser grains at the bottom and finer grains at the top. This is called graded bedding. In addition to river-dwelling animals, you may find mammal, reptile, and other terrestrial animal bones within rocks formed by rivers. The river may have washed these remains far downstream from their original habitat. Deserts receive very little precipitation, and what does occur quickly evaporates. These dry, flat lake beds collect water from rainfall and mountain snowmelt. When the water evaporates, salts are deposited. Sedimentary structures found in desert environments include mud cracks, raindrop impressions, and rootlet traces from lake beds. Desert sand dunes formed by winds sweeping across the landscape are dominated by fine-grained quartz and feldspar. Fossils are rare in desert rocks because here, organisms are rapidly decomposed and slowly buried. You may sometimes find bones of reptiles or fish buried in sand dunes or lake bottoms. A glacier is a large mass of ice and snow that has accumulated over thousands of years. These heavy masses can flow across a wide area. As glaciers melt and retreat, the debris they may have picked up is dropped randomly, forming conglomerates. This melt water may collect in lakes, depositing clay to form shale and limestone. Glacier deposits may contain fossils of mammals because extensive glaciation took place after the development of mammals. Not all lakes are formed by glaciers. Many are produced by natural processes or by dams. Clams, snails, and fish are typical of all lakes. A swamp is a saturated environment of standing water and trees. Swamps are the source of some sand and clay, but mainly mud that forms shale deposits. Also peat, formed from the decomposition of organic matter. Under high pressure and temperature, over time, peat turns to coal. Because there is little oxygen in this soggy environment, fossils of plants, insects, reptiles, even birds, are common and well-preserved. The sediment here is generally fine-grained, and you may find plants embedded in mud. The marine 
ocean shelf is a dynamic environment where several geologic processes go on at once. Near shore, waves and currents move sand along the coast and along the ocean bottom. These movements produce sedimentary structures such as ripple marks, dunes, and bars. Rocks found in the marine shelf may contain sand, which forms sandstone, shells of sea animals, which form limestone, and near mountainous regions, gravel, which forms conglomerate. You'll also find fossils of marine organisms. Generally, the farther out from shore, the finer the size of the sediments. A swamp is a saturated environment of standing water and trees. A delta is an accumulation of sediment where a river or stream discharges into an ocean, sea, or lake. These gifts from the rivers to the sea are the most complex of all depositional environments because so many processes operate within this system. Ancient deltaic deposits are one of the prime sources of fossil fuels. In the rock record, you will find shale, silt, and sand. And at the bottom of the river channel, conglomerate, with perhaps some bones. You will also find a variety of sedimentary structures because of the river and ocean processes at work here. Select. By answering these additional key questions, you should discover several ways to analyze the question you have chosen.